Today, I'm going to show you how I edit my Pinterest templates. If you are in the market for new Pinterest templates, I'm going to link mine down below in the description. The first thing you need to do is create a Canva account. It is free to sign up and really easy to do. Now, there are two different places that you can access Canva. I have the desktop version, and then you can also access Canva from canva.com. I prefer the desktop version, but they're pretty much the exact same thing. And once you get your Canva account set up, you want to go over here to brand. Now, if you're just going to be using the free version of of Canva, it looks like you can't actually access this brand tab anymore unless you pay for it. If you see any elements in Canva that have this crown icon next to it, it means that you have to have the pro version. I recommend upgrading to the pro version if you're going to be using it a lot. I use Canva pretty much every single day, so I do have the pro version. And if you want to get it, I will link it down below in the description. And if you do decide to upgrade and get the access to the brand tab, this is going to make editing the templates for your brand so much easier. So you can always add in a brand logo and you can add in brand colors. So you see, I already have mine here. All you need to do is click on the plus and then you can either add in the code or you can just search for something here like this. And then if you want to get rid of a color, you can just get rid of it there. And they also have the add new if you want to check out some of the colors that Canva has specifically. So let's say you want to look up a pink color, you can do this and then you can add any of the colors that you see here. You can also add brand fonts. So you can see these are the ones that I use the most. And if you have a custom font that you bought like Creative Market or Etsy or something like that, you can also upload those fonts as well so that you can use them in your Canva designs. Next, I want to show you how you can access these templates after you purchase them. All you need to do is go to the homepage of Etsy, come up here to your account and click on purchases and reviews. Then all you need to do is find the templates and click download now. Now these are actually Pinterest templates that I have bought. These aren't mine, but obviously I haven't bought my own templates. So this is just to show you where to find them. You can go to the templates and click on download now. Once you download them, you're going to get the PDF file that is going to show you how to access the templates. And this might be how you actually found this video. So you're going to see this here. There's the instructions for how to download it. And this is how you access them right there. You just click on that. Once you click on this, it's going to open up a new window in Canva and say something like use template with a preview of the template. It's then going to create a copy of the Pinterest templates so that you can use them for your own and edit them however you want. And this is what the templates look like here. They don't come with any photos in them. So you have to add your own photos and then they all say something to the effect of you can write your blog post title or headline here with somewhere on there to put your site. So you just have to edit that. I've done a few edits on the templates here. So like this one, Best ways to increase your income when you work from home. Let's say that these fonts and colors are not what you want. All you have to do is click on this element here, go up into the corner where it says color, and then you can change to whatever colors you want. If you want your brand colors, or let's say you like this purple instead, or you want to look something up, you can look up something here and then decide what you want to do from there. I've added the picture to this one. You can search anything you want. Let's just say computer photos and then click and drag and the photo will pop to the box right there. And then if you don't like the text, you can click on the text box and you'll get a bunch of options up here for how to change your text. You will be able to see your recently used fonts right here if you have recently used any or if you want to check out your brand fonts and you want to use those instead. So for example, I tend to use Daydream a lot. I can change those and let's say I want to use this one instead. There's a few other options up here like decreasing and increasing the font size. These fonts are all sized to match what the pin would look like if you had your writing in there. So for example, like if you're going to be writing something like this here, it's going to be too long. You might need to edit and make it smaller or figure out what the perfect size is. So there is going to be some like sizing options that you have to do in order to make the pin look exactly how you want after you put in your own text, of course. And then you can change the color of the text if you really want to. This one doesn't have a bold or italics option. Some of them do, some of them don't. You can change the alignment here. You can add a few effects if you want, and you can animate the pin. There's a ton of different things that you can do here in Canva. If you don't like that this is all uppercase, you can click on this thing here and it will change it from uppercase to lowercase. There is a quite a lot that you can do to these templates and how to make them your own. This is pretty much just the basics of it. But if you want to learn more about the basics of Canva, check out this video right here. If you want to get these templates for yourself, 
if you don't already have them. I will leave a link to them down below in the description. Make sure to like if you like and subscribe to my channel down below for more videos just like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.